Hi, I'm Eric. I'm uh, pleased to welcome you to the Virtual Hanover Show 2021. Uh, we would have preferred to see you personally in Hanover, but uh, due to the given situation, we do that virtually. I will introduce how a continuous power health check will improve your electrical system and also what you can do with the Yanitsa products and how can Yanitsa help in order to maintain your power supply. Continuous health check of your electrical power system. That covers uh, the, the aspects of energy, power quality and residual current. Energy, we call it EPMS, Electrical Power Monitoring System or even Electrical Power Management System. We come to the details a little later on. Then we have Power Quality, PQ. That's a bit magic, that's a bit scary, but you will get an insight. What does it mean to your equipment? And last but not least, RCM, which stands for Residual Current Monitoring or Leakage Current Monitoring or the Electrical Engineers in the US would call it Ground Fault Monitoring. And uh, that doesn't matter which uh, application you are running. So that can be buildings, general industry, data center, or any other application in a critical mission environment. Let's get started with some focus on energy. So independent where you're located in this globe, uh, energy is getting more and more complex and it won't get cheaper, you can be sure. So. Uh, the landscape of power generation and power distribution has massively changed over the last decades. And nowadays you have a hydropower station, you have fossil power generation, you have nuclear power generation, you have the photovoltaics, the concentrated solar power, you have the windmills and so on. That means the whole grid system is getting more and more complex. And again, as said in the beginning, your energy bill won't get cheaper. Over the last years, I've been introduced to energy bills from customers and partners and so on, which contains approximately 20 to 30 different components. So those components are, for example, at the peak load, peak demand, a minimum load, or if we have a, a lousy power factor, you get charged by your power utilities. So it's worse actually to have a detailed look into energy, into your energy, and to bring a lot more transparency into it in order to steer and control your energy costs. Over the last three decades, we as Janitz Electronics helped our clients globally to introduce EPMS systems. And out of this experience, we really can state here that the typical savings are between 3 and 8% of the energy costs, just to introduce an EPMS system in their grid, in their production. So that means the EPMS is increasing awareness and is also contributing to a consciously usage of energy. As Lord Kelvin said, what you don't measure, you cannot improve. For a typical production company, the energy costs are between 5 and 15% of your total costs. Now imagine when you would be able to reduce 10% of your energy costs. What that means to your bottom line, amazing. But it's not just to uh, increase or to improve your green image. This will bring you in your market in a much more competitive situation and not just once over the next years. And we will be happy to help you to go for the fully optimized energy management solution. The next very important aspect in terms of continuous health check of your power system is power quality. Some of you are scared when you hear power quality. Some of you find power quality magic, but it isn't. It's just a given grid system filled up over the last decades with non-linear loads like VSD, variable speed drives, or AFE like active front end, and we have to deal with that. Without digging into the details of power quality, please keep in your mind that it's categorized into six. So it's sex and twelves. That means the magnitude is changing continuously. That may take between 10 and 50 milliseconds, whatever. Uh, harmonics caused by VSDs can destroy different electronic equipment, flicker, so when your screen is flickering, if you have an unbalanced system, that means one phase is much lower, that is caused by a single phase consumer. You have frequency deviations, and that comes by active infeed converters like on the photovoltaic, and you have transients, which is mainly the reason why electronic equipment is really damaged. And be sure, those six categories of power quality issues can be mitigated and our engineers would be very happy to help you 
but uh, when you do nothing against it, be sure your electronic equipment will be pre-aged, unwanted, and you have a lot of unintended standstill of your production line. So you have to have a focus on that, on power quality. Again, we will be happy to uh, work out together with you mitigation strategies. Last but not least, we are coming to the final aspect of continuous health check of your electrical power system. That's RCM. You may know it under RCM, residual current monitoring, or leakage current monitoring, or ground fault monitoring. You can find those actually in uh, single phase switch mode power supplies, which are used in server racks, for example, in, in data center, or you can find that in variable speed drives in conjunction with the motor cable and the filter circuits of a VSD that may generate uh, leakage currents as well as vacuum bonding currents. And you don't want it. You want to have everything in a good order and under control. If not, that can easily cause uh, electrical shock at humans, at machines, or even a fire hazard, as recently happened in a data center in France. Maybe you uh, saw the big fire on the, on the internet. Janica is offering a wide range of portfolio when it comes to RCM. We have uh, built in, in some of the devices, RCM interfaces like on the UMG 512 Pro, or we have even dedicated RCM monitoring devices like on the RCM 202. And uh, the good thing is on the 202, you can measure AC currents, DC currents with AC CTs. That's a huge saving for you. And the good thing is you can put in thresholds, you get an early warning, much earlier than a fault happen. So that gives you an advantage in information. That means you can control, you can act against those problems. Leakage currents, isolation resistant problems on, on your cables. So with the RCM solutions from Janica, you have leakage current fully under control. Ladies and gentlemen, we covered already a lot of information when it comes to a continuous health check of your electrical power system. For sure, next to our competence within Janica Electronics, we offer a huge portfolio of products. It starts with the energy meter, some of them have MID, energy analyzers, power analyzers, power quality analyzers, perfect products in order to perform the continuous health check of your electrical power system. For sure, I would love to guide you to the full portfolio of Janitz Electronics, but uh, then we would run out of time. So I just selected three of the products we can offer you. The first one is the UMG96 PQL. PQ stands for power quality and L for light. So this device can be used in the main or in the sub-distribution level, has a colored screen, has an RS485 interface on board, a Modbus TCP interface, and that can work as a gateway. That means also a cost-saving potential for you guys. It's capturing events, has a selectable home screen, very nice, and has an onboard memory, which lasts for years. Secondly, I want to introduce our flagship. It's called UMG801. It's a modular power analyzer. It comes up with 92 current measurement channels and the accuracy class of 0.2%. When it comes to power quality, we can catch events and transients with a very nice adjustable pre and post sticker. We come up with a 2.5 inch color display on board, very sharp, very comprehensive. And in addition to that, we offer a remote display 96 by 96, fully colored with a lot of nice functionality, make it really comprehensive to deal with that device. And then we come with two Ethernet interfaces and one of those Ethernet interfaces offers an OPC UA server, which is perfect for industrial applications. This device is used for the incoming feed, as well as the main distribution level and the sub-distribution level. Finally, I want to introduce you my most favorite product. It's a UMG 512 Pro. It's a power quality analyzer, class A, according to the IEC 61000 slash 4 slash 30. Comes with a pre and a post trigger. Include, inclusive waveform capture. Comes with a RS485 interface, a Modbus TCP interface. This Modbus TCP interface offers you five ports in parallel. That means you can run Critris, you can run your BMS, you can run your SCADA system at the same time, for sure. Has also RCM on board. And it's very likely the device on the market with the highest value for the lowest money. Nice monitoring products. Right? 
To unleash the full potential of our products, the UMGs, we recommend Quitris. You can use whatever you want to read out those information, but really Quitris show you the full performance of our UMGs. It's an engineering client, that means you can set up parameters of the UMGs. It comes with a huge amount of widgets for your own dashboards, for your KPIs. That means you can customize actually the dashboards according to your application. It comes with a generic Modbus. That means you can read in other medias like natural gas, water, pressurized air, can run reports out of that. It has a fantastic transient and event browser. Whenever you chase time equal events, it's so easy with Quitris. has a perfect web front end and comes with a wide range of comprehensive reports. Energy, power quality, RCM. The last minutes we talked a lot about energy, power quality and RCM. That means a continuous health check of your electrical power system brings a lot more transparency in your energy consumption in your production. You saw how Yanitsa products can help in conjunction with the Yanitsa competences. That increases the uptime of your production, that save costs, reduce total costs of ownership and make your company sustainably more competitive in your market. You have learned a lot about Janita, about the history, about the company, about the products, about the solutions. If this was too fast, if you need more information, check us out on our homepage where you can uh, download white papers, um, you can enroll for webinars, you can have application stories, or check us out on our social media channels. Stay tuned, stay safe. I will see you next year in Hanover.